What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, be sure to subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified every single time I upload a new video. In this video, check this out. I am doing a tutorial, finally a tutorial for eyeshadow for hooded eyes. First of all, I wanna give a big disclaimer. Yo, Alma Rivera Beauty, I am not a pro makeup artist. I don't go around doing this for a living. I don't know people's faces. I have not mastered the eye shape or everyone's eye shape. I am working with what I got and this shape that is currently on my face. So uh, one thing that it's like the obvious thing is that I have hooded eyes. So I do get a lot of requests like, how do you do your eyeshadow, Amiga? How do you do your eyeliner? How do you work with those eyes and make them look good? So girl, that's what I'm here for. I told you guys plenty of times. I'm like, give me a minute. Let me film a video for you guys. And I got right to it. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what I did on my eyes. I went step by step, literally Barney style. So this is beginner friendly. If you don't know what you're doing, girl, I'm about to show you what to do and if you already know what you're doing i hope you guys enjoy it and follow along just in case you want to try different techniques and if you are a makeup artist and i'm doing something wrong girl don't come for me okay i'm i'm just doing what i can i'm doing what i've tried on my eyeballs okay so anyway i like the look i like how it came out so let's jump right into the video <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Before getting into the look, because I was literally gonna just start, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm using. So just in case, you know, you're following along with the tutorial or not, well, like, hold up, what do I need? So let's run through the products real quick and then we'll use them. First things first, an eyeshadow palette. Today I'm gonna be using the Be Bella collaboration with Must Be Cindy. This is a really good beginner's palette. I highly recommend you use something like this with this type of color story. Y luego, you're gonna need a eyeshadow brush set. This one specifically is from Lunar Beauty. These are my favorite brushes. I always use them when I'm recording. You're gonna need your go-to mascara and eyelash curler. For the lashes, I am gonna use this set right here from Kari G. Um, this is a collaboration with EXO Cosmetics and the lash glue. And if you need an applicator, go ahead and use one if you wanna use your fingers. And a pair of scissors. These are like lash scissors or like eyebrow scissors. Definitely gonna need these. I'll show you why later. And some pencil liners. This one's in nude and this one is in black. So now that you got everything gathered up, or you didn't, huh? Let me give you another second. Andale, andale amiga, we gotta get shit cracking. Okay, now we can go ahead and start. I'm gonna zoom you guys a little bit. I want you guys like all up close to my eyeball porque quiero que miren lo que voy a hacer, okay? Damn, you guys are hella zoomed in. I hope this is close enough for you guys. First things first, as you guys can see, I already have a full face of makeup except the eyes. So that means I already have concealer on my lids. So I don't need to do that step right now. But if you wanna go ahead and do that, go ahead and put a little bit of concealer or eyeshadow base all over your lid as usual. So first things first, we're gonna take our eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take a small blending brush. This one is LBE2 from Lunar Beauty. And I'm gonna go into a light shade, which is gonna be essentially our transitional shade. In this palette, I am taking the shade Full Time, which is a nice, soft nude brown tone. And I'm gonna begin just placing the shadow just like this and like tapping formation right above my crease, just like that. When I tell you guys that I'm gonna break it down Barney style, that means I'm gonna tell you step by step. And I'm adding a little bit more. Once you're satisfied with the pigmentation, something like this, I don't want it too, too deep. I'm going to go ahead and blend that outwards, going up towards my brow, but or like not all the way up, you know, just making sure you get that nice little blend out of that shade. Now we're going to begin to get a little deeper. No te asustes, oh, we're going to be just fine. So I'm going to take the shade Money Maker from this palette, which is down here. And this is like a deep brown. It has more of a warm tone. You guys can see this is what it looks like. On the brush, can you guys even see it? Of course, tap off that excess. We do not want any kind of fallout. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna start off in the outer corner. So just tap this in your outer corner area right here. This is why I like to focus the depth of the eyeshadow. You see, I'm like tapping it just in the same spot. Now I'm gonna take a different blending brush. This one's clean and this one is LBE1. And I'm going to use it to blend out this one shade. So I'm going in circular motions like this and I'm slowly dragging the pigment that I placed 
onto the inner part of my eye. Does that make sense? So keep it right in the crease, right in this area. But it's like you're bringing it in. If you feel like you need to grab a little bit more, go back in with that same brush. Tap some in, dragging it in. When you start seeing the shape forming, you can go ahead and tap some more. Like bring it in towards the middle. You don't want to get any like further in closer than that. If I put it in here, it just looks weird on my eye shape. So again, blending it all in. This is like the furthest you want to go in with this deep shade. What we're trying to do is emphasize our shape. We're not trying to change things up. This is why other type of eyeshadow techniques don't work for us. I'm gonna take the same shade again, the same brush, and this time instead of going inwards, I'm just gonna go a little bit outwards. So I'm gonna place it in the same area right here, but at a different angle as if I'm making a liner, but I'm not just tapping it into place, placing that one shade in that spot. Then go back in with that same blending brush you used earlier and you're going to sweep back and forth right here. It's kind of going to be like a little V and you're just going to go, you can go like in V motions, swiper motions or in circular motions, whatever it takes to get that little blend. But what we're going to do is sweep out the smokiness without interrupting what we got going on right here, you get me? Sometimes I get so nervous when doing like tutorials like this because I'm like, what if they don't understand me? Because <laughs> I feel like I suck at like explaining stuff. So, como se llama, I'm like always getting trabadas with my words. So yeah, just, just do what I'm doing, girl. Now we're gonna take a smaller, more dense brush. It kind of looks like this. It's more of a, what do you call this? A sweeper brush? And this one is LBE5. I'm gonna take the same shade, Money Maker. We're still in that deep brown. And what I'm gonna do is place it right in my bottom line right here, but I'm not gonna go in all the way. So I'm just gonna keep it in that outer corner and basically connect it. And you see how I'm just going with the flow with my eye shape? This is what you wanna do, just sweep it underneath and bring it out, smoking it out like this. You see how I just kept it outside right here? This is why placement matters so much. It can make or break a look. When it gets slightly deeper, no te asustes. This is easy, this is fine. Take a deep breath, because we're going in with a black shade. Yes, girl, you heard me right. So I'm gonna take a flat brush. This is what this one looks like. This one is LBE4, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Bank Life, which is this black matte shade, and I'm gonna slightly tap into it. And look, check this out. Pay close attention to what I'm doing, okay? So I'm basically gonna start off half of my eye. Just place it right there. That's gonna be your guide. Half of my eye out. And I'm gonna just tap it as if it's gonna be a liner, okay? Just tap it. We're going in little by little until you get to the end of your eye. Now we're gonna take a clean blending brush. This one's LBE3. And we are gonna blend all this black into the brown going in circular motion and when we get to the lash line, just go like back and forth and then circular right here because that's where we want to keep all the depth. And just keep it in that same spot. Make sure you don't drag the black outwards or inwards because the black can definitely ruin the whole eyeshadow if you place it in the wrong area. So just keep going, blend, blend, blend. It doesn't matter if you want to take your time you're there sitting for like 10 minutes. It doesn't matter, girl. Get that blend in. I'm going to take a smaller sweeper brush. This one's LBE7. I'm going to go in with that black matte shade again. Bank Life. I'm going to slowly tap into it. And I'm going to do the bottom line exactly in the same spot that we placed that brown shade. Look closely, okay? So I'm going to get as closely as I can to that waterline. And sweep that black shade right in there. Do not go past the halfway mark. Just don't. Try to keep it tapered. You see the majority of the shade, I'm placing it up right here, and then it's getting smaller as I get towards the inside of my eye, and begin to bring it outwards, little by little. This is why it's called a sweeper brush, because you're literally sweeping 
the eyeshadow out there. Now let's get onto the lid. So I like to leave this part for last. I like to emphasize the blending on the outside. So for this, I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go in with like a bone shade. This one is called Humble on this palette. So you're gonna look for something like this. As you can see, the one right next to it is white. You don't wanna take something, I mean, if you do, you can, I guess, if you want to. But for this look specifically, I'm gonna take this bone shade right here and I'm just gonna tap it right on my lid. Just right here in the beginning portion, just like that. And you can see this looks like hella pigmented. And now going in with the clean blending brush, I'm just gonna defuminar. I'm gonna blend out all that white, just like that. You're gonna see like it's gonna definitely uh, decrease in brightness, so it's not gonna be as white. And ta-da! As you can see, it's starting to take its form. I feel like it needs a little bit more of a brown tone right in between the white and the black. So I'm gonna take the shade Inspired, which is this one right here, and I'm gonna place it right in between those shades right there, going in a back and forth motion. And I'm gonna go over the black a little bit just so it can be a little bit more pigmented and black. Line it up. Then take your sweeper brush and blend it, girl. Okay, Amiga, congratulations because you just got over the hardest part. That's it. That was all to it for the eyeshadow. The only reason I felt like it felt complicating explaining it because I had to like tell you exactly what to do but it is honestly one of the easiest looks that i do i get this done really really quick and i know if you guys practice this look you will nail it over and over again so this is like a go-to look that i do for my eye shape and i know it's always gonna look good and i could always change up the eyeshadow colors and it will always look bomb so now that we got the eyeshadow part out of the way let's continue and let's use some eyelash curler and mascara so what i'm gonna do is curl my top lashes of course because i want to make sure that my falsies stick onto it so go ahead and do that y luego take some of your mascara add it to the top and bottom lashes this mascara has become my favorite i'm literally running through it like crazy it's from the brand deslumbrante and they're called cute ass lashes ain't that a cute ass name like i can feel with that so <laughs> let's go ahead and coat the top and bottom lashes now when it comes to the mascara i like to emphasize it on the outer part so usually where i put the dark part of the shadow that's why i like to put the mascara so i'm gonna put it in the top part the top lashes, I like to coat it lightly, not too heavy. And then the bottom ones, girl, that's where I go crazy. I just add un chingo. Dude, this is so hard to do on camera. Like, I always end up poking my eyeball cuando me pongo mascara on camera. Trying to get the right angle. Si no, los voy a tapar todas. So you see, I'm only coating the outside part of the lashes, like right here. I don't know, like, I feel like... If you put mascara on this part, you're darkening it up. You're ruining the whole like picture of this smokiness right here. So that's why I like to stick to the outer part of the lashes. Does that make sense? But are you even listening? Or estoy hablando sola, eh? Be honest, be honest. Ah, si me estás haciendo caso, okay. Once that's nice and dry, we're gonna take two pencil liners. So I got a black one and then I got a nude one. I lost a cap to this, so don't mind it. These are from Be Bella Cosmetics. This is a new tone pencil liner. So what you're gonna do is just apply that new tone in the bottom waterline, just right on over there. Oh my God, dude, I had black shadow on my finger and me toque la cara. I'll fix it right now. Y luego, you're gonna take your black pencil and basically just put it in that outer corner. I don't know why, but this makes such a huge difference when I do this. So I'm basically just gonna put it like this in that inner la like ¿cómo se llama esta parte? like in that little crease of inside of your waterline right here i'm just gonna do a line like this 
that's all you basically need. Okay, now for the lashes. Now, this is a very important part because it's very detailed and if you don't do it right, no te vas a salir igual, so pay close attention. Grab your lashes. I like to go for some that look like this or even flared out, so smallest from the beginning all the way to the outside that's bigger. If you don't, you have something natural like this, it'll work. If you have something dramatic, it'll also work because I do this trick with nearly every style lash that I have. Again, this is from EXO Cosmetics. I'm gonna take it out. And what I'm gonna do, I know usually, okay, so let me tell you what you usually do, right? You place it on there, you measure it, you're good to go. Yeah, no, this is not how it's gonna go. So what we're gonna do is basically chop off one third of the whole lash. Yeah, girl, you heard me right. We're gonna chop that thing off because we want to emphasize the outer corner only. Remember how I told you only to put mascara in the outer portion of your eye? Yes, girl, same thing goes for the lashes. Not only that, but I noticed that when I have hooded eyes, when I have hooded eyes, I can mensa, I've always had hooded eyes. When putting on false lashes on my hooded eyes, me molesta every single time when I put the inner corner part in my lash. It waters up, it falls out, it sucks. So, to prevent that, we got a trick for you. So like I said, take your lash, así está, ¿eh? I usually like to measure like two long lashes going up and that's where I cut. So it's basically gonna be one third of the lash. And I like to focus it on the inner part because the outer part is already shaped nicely to flare out to your eye. So that one part right here, lo vamos a mochar, ready? There you go, and you're gonna have a tiny little lash. Also, the part that you just chopped off, don't throw it away, just put it aside. I like to use them just in case I always wanna add like one little extra strip or I'm missing something. I can use it kind of like an individual lash, but as for now, we're gonna use this strip that we just cut off and take some of your favorite lash glue. This one's from EXO Cosmetics as well. I highly recommend this one. It literally will make your lashes last all freaking day. They will not come off until you take them off. Let them dry up a little bit. Y luego, we're gonna put it in this outer corner right here. It's already getting tacky and sticky. I'm maneuver it with my fingers. That is what it's looking like. I feel like I cut this one definitely a little bit too short. So what I'm gonna do, remember I told you, don't throw away the other little part. I'm gonna literally cut off one of them right down the middle. Grab your glue, same thing. I'm gonna add it like to the inner part. Um, I feel like with our type of hooded eyes, we kind of have to custom make lashes. I feel like that's how you'll get the best result. And you know what also does the same trick? Individual lashes. These are from the Dollar Tree. I keep them stacked up. I use them all the time. I didn't do them in this video because they do take up more time. So I didn't wanna like make this a whole hour long. So now that this is nice and dry, I'm just gonna stack it up right on top of this. And bam, girl, there you go. That's looking a lot better. So the next step, what we're gonna do is take our black pencil liner, or if you want to do something a little bit more permanent, you could definitely do a liquid liner, but you're gonna basically trace from the inside part right here, just your water line right there, not inside, but right above. And you're gonna like connect the lash line just so it doesn't look like too fake. And you have some color to the rest of your lid. You get me? This is what she looks like. What do you think? Te gusta? Because honestly, I've been rocking this left and right. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Just like that, en un dos por tres, I did my other eye. Dude, honestly, I did it really, really quick and I love the outcome. This is the final eyeshadow look. I added a little bit of gloss as well. I retouched my face makeup just a little bit. But most importantly, I wanna know your thoughts on this look. Was it easy? Are you gonna recreate it? Oh, if you do, make sure to tag me so I can like repost you guys on my Instagram stories. I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I hope I made it easy to explain for you guys because that's literally the goal here. We're not perfect, I'm not perfect. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing half the time, no mas. Le estoy atinando. I'm showing you guys exactly what I do. Remember, I'm not a pro makeup artist. I just like makeup. But you guys, we have come down to the end of the video. If you have not yet, be sure to follow me on all my social medias. You guys can find me at Alma Rivera Beauty on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Do not leave my channel before subscribing, girl. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.